While we are fast approaching the end of this school year, parents are also thinking about enrollment for the next school year. Well, our next guest says you might want to consider American Heritage Academy. Tony Reinhardt and Caitlin Witt are here to tell us how the charter schools are different than other schools. And Caitlin, I'm going to get to you in just a moment, but Tony, let's talk about American Her Heritage Academy. What makes it different? Well, we're a small charter school and we have a campus in Cottonwood and one in Camp Verde. Um, it's a classical liberal arts education. We focus on leadership and community service, which is why Caitlin is here. Yes. Um, just some amazing things happening, um, focused on the founding principles of the, the uh, Constitution and what made America great. and. That's what we're trying to instill in these students. Well, and I can see that you're doing that because, um, Caitlin, um, you, you, you require something special from the seniors. What do you require seniors to do? Well, from kindergarten all the way through to seniors, we have uh, provide opportunities for them to do community service. But when they, I in order that. to graduate, they have to do um, a community project where they have to organize it to get their leadership skills. They have to be able to um, show us that's going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And this is what she chose to do. Oh, what, are, what wonderful qualities to instill in young people. Caitlin, what did you choose to do? Well, when I first heard about the project, I started thinking about it junior year, and I thought to myself, I don't want to just do it because I have to in order to graduate. I wanted to do something <laughs> that made a difference in other people's lives, and I've always been intrigued of India and I heard about the Lighthouse Sewing Center. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're seeing here? Yes. Um, this is the girls. I had a dance camp over in India. Um, I'm a dancer and so those are some of the precious girls. They're from poor areas and we were able to take them for four days and I was able to really speak into their lives and teach them dance and we were able to provide them three meals a day which wow. is amazing. Right here, those are the sewing ladies mm -hmm. um, with the Lighthouse Sewing Center. Um, while in the United States, I raised $6,000, and once we went to India, we bought them sewing machines so that they could start their micro businesses and provide for their families. I have goosebumps. I'm not kidding you. Okay, that is amazing, and I can feel I can feel her passion and her <laughs> energy. Um, uh, Tony, tell me about the, the campuses. Now, you have two of them. Absolutely. Right? Okay. Um, the first one is in Camp Verde. Right. Right. We have a, I think we have a picture of that. I want you to tell us a, a little bit about that. And actually, this is our uh, Cottonwood campus. Oh, the Cottonwood campus. Yes. And that's the one you go to, Cameron. Right. And yes. K through 12. Okay. And then you have also another campus in Camp Verde. In Camp Verde. This is one. And this year, during the summer, we're building uh, an addition, which will include a gym and a stage so that we can increase our activities and sports and our performing arts. It'll wow. be a great opportunity. Wow. And so, I mean, Caitlin, what did you learn from this experience? I mean, you're, you're, you're senior, you're going on now to the, to the real world. What are you taking away? Well, when I first I went to India, I was trying to give into these ladies' and girls' lives, except I actually learned so much from them Aww. than I was trying to give to them. Um, it's, it was a life-changing moment for me that will keep with me forever. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, both thank of you, for you coming much. on and sharing about American Heritage Academy. They are enrolling right now at both campuses. Um, you can call the Cottonwood campus at 928-634-2144, or you can call the Camp Verde campus at 928-567-0462. For more information, you can also look them up online at AmericanHeritageAcademy.org.